see, that's, you that's see? where you're supposed to fucking, uh, that is where you're supposed to write your reports, right? You'd think. You'd think. Or, like that. Is that a red light on in that one? Yeah. Somebody in there? Getting on the radio. Getting on the radio. Letting them know that we're coming. <laughs> I guess we have to cross. I mean, I would think as long as we stay on the sidewalk, we're all right. Well, that sidewalk goes up to the south. No, I'm talking about this sidewalk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even though it says, do not enter police vehicles only. But I think they're talking about cars. Wouldn't you? Yep. Thank you. I was trying to figure out a way to just send it to a specific precinct, but okay, <laughs> thank you. Hopefully, living one. Sending a private message to KDT just to a specific precinct, Dundalk and Essex. I wonder. So that's that's something else we need to. I wonder. Pia. Yeah. For well, KDT. Well, yeah. I mean, I, Kelly? Um, I don't know if that's public record or not. But, uh, all right, guys, we're about to walk into the precinct. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to uh, PCO. PCO is going to record my, my uh, body cam. So I've got a couple questions. We're back. Sergeants from this precinct? Um, I have to reach out to Okay, yeah. Thank you. How you doing? So, uh, apparently, shift change is. What, 10 o'clock? Or what time is it now? I don't think it's 9 yet. It was a little after 9 when, uh, 9.30, so mm. 10 o'clock shift change. What time, what time did I get out of here? What, that day? Yeah. It was like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I think. Ooh, let me get a good shot of this. Yeah. 
Did you see the, the post I put about uh, the cadets? Which one? I think it was a Facebook post. Remember they were talking about they were praising their cadets, and I put a I put a I put a comment on their post about why a cadet <coughs> would be placed with a officer that had just violated my rights like a couple months prior and got the training wheels taken off of him because he was in uh, Rose, remember uh, Officer Rose? He, he, he was involved in both the Bombasol Bandit video at the first post office video. I'm going to smoke a cigarette, I guess. What'd she tell you? She said they're going through shift change. And that she's going to find out through her supervisor if she can give me a list of sergeants. She's going to find out if she can do her job? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. wonder why there's a shortage of cops. Gee, I wonder why. Are they losing their qualified immunity and going bankrupt? Losing their jobs? This is about the steering wheels. They do a steering wheel giveaway. If you give away your ID. Did you know that? Uh, these they give away these steering wheel locks, right? If you ID. Oh, if you give them your ID. If you give them your ID, they'll give you a free steering wheel. Yeah, lock. then they'll give you a free steering wheel lock. If if you don't ID to them, they won't give it to you. Oh, isn't that lovely? Does it say that? Yeah. Well, they they said that on the um to qualify for steering wheel lock, residents must provide a copy of their vehicle registration, copy of the registry. They said online that you had to show ID. Wow. But your vehicle registration um, would have your ID. Yeah, it has your name on it. Well, I had yeah. I mean, if the whole if the whole idea is to keep your car from getting stolen, then what does your ID have to do with it? I do like this picture. And look, you remember? You remember when I was talking to Thorne out here? And he told me that there was no private place that we could go to to, to talk. Yeah, I was just there's one right there. Well, here, look. I know, and there's one right Public here. Public interview. Public interview. Uh huh. Yeah, but he was scared because I wouldn't ID, and he wouldn't take me into a private room without ID me. Isn't isn't he isn't he the same guy that that said that the Constitution can be put on pause? Yes. Yeah. That would be Corporal Thorne. That because Officer Leary illegally, well, threatened me with, with arrest for doing just what I'm doing right now. Well, there's a sergeant. Whoop. Careful. That's going to hurt. It's right, it's just taxpayer money pays for that radio. Yeah. 
I'm sure they're, they're, they're quite a bit more expensive than ours. Oh, yeah. Ours was expensive enough. At least they got the American flag in the middle. And a little bit higher. And higher. A little bit higher. That flag don't piss me off as much as the other one. What other one? The American flag that has the blue on it. To stick my finger in it. <laughs> Gotta watch sticking your finger in strange holes, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I don't know what I thought it was. This is bothering me. People leave this place a it's mess. All bothering me. Like why would you why would you be get a picture of that? Baltimore Real Estate Store dot com. Get a get a good picture of that face. Let's uh let's get this QR code too. Yeah. Let's let's investigate that guy. I wonder if he has family in here. Cause like, why would a police station be promoting a fucking uh Real estate company. That's a good question. change aspects on this thing. This is a pretty good shot right here. I'm get full full crop picture of it. I don't know. You'd be able to screenshot it somehow. That 
white blocks the city. Oh, they got all the precincts on there. That's cool. Yeah. Thing. I didn't even notice that. People like to see shit like that. Hi. So we're precinct 12. We're like... <laughs> Precinct 12 is. Did you change over? <laughs> and Precinct 11 uh, is I'm, Essex. I'm, is the, well, the sergeant of duty, can I, can I, uh, duty sergeant? Can I talk to the duty sergeant? Precinct 9. Sure. Yes. Thanks. Five. Wonder why they don't have a precinct five. Three, two, and one. <coughs> it's not a precinct ten either. I tell you what, precinct seven covers an awful lot of territory. Well, these are the precinct eights over here too. So I'm, that's what I was wondering if this is the line between the two, right there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's Lock Graven Reservoir, so... What precinct would Towson be? Eight, I guess? Or, because Towson's over here in the, in the green area over here somewhere. I guess it would be six, then. There's Kenilworth Drive. So I guess it's... I guess it's six, but I, I don't know. It, these... This is a road. It's not a line. That's, yeah, but that's the road that. might be the boundary. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we will have to find one that has all the boundaries. Oh, the white lines are precinct boundaries. So, Jesus, precinct seven. I can't be right. Then where's the boundary between? That's what I'm saying. What's the boundary between precinct eight and seven? Right here. Oh. Boy, this is going to be an interesting fucking video. <laughs> yeah, Precinct 8 is kind of small. Yeah. Precinct 6 is even smaller. 7 huge. Well, you got to look at it this way, too. I wonder how many people live up that way. Like, the, the, the people per cat per square mile is probably... You know, all, all this might equal up to the amount of people that are down in six. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, because that's all rural, rural, I, rural I mean, up is, there. Is there only one police station per precinct? Probably not. Because I know there's a police station in Cockeysville, up here somewhere. There's probably substations. Guilford. This must be York Road. This this road here is probably York Road. Middletown Road. Bunker Hill. Here's Hereford. This is Hereford in here. Piney Hill. Quaker Bottom. Here's Schwann Road right here. Here's Hunt Valley right here. Here's where here's where the Cockeysville precinct is. Right here. And then here's Timonium Road that crosses. This is definitely York Road. And then into Kenilworth. This is Towson right in here. This is where the mall is, like right, right in here, right in here is where the mall is. Headquarters is right in here somewhere. Huh. So Towson is precinct six and Cockeysville is precinct seven. I would guess this is probably 
Perry Hall or Perry Hall and Parkville or White Marsh, precinct at eight at White Marsh, precinct nine, Perry Hall. Fuck if I know. What is precinct one? What area is that? That's gotta be southeast. South southwest. Cause that's probably where is over, is over here. That's like probably eight. where a, a Young is Or is he over here He deals a lot with state police He's down in Prince George's isn't he He's not even in Baltimore County I don't No think. I think he's um, I think he's southwest Baltimore County I don't think he's Maybe right there. outside the city Privacy. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Well, most of them have like that frosting on it, and then there, and then that has paper on it, and then they close the door to uh, dispatch. How long do you think that's gonna be? Okay. What, what was your name again? Sims. Oh, I, th- I were, think she, she was, was here she was, the was, night. Yeah, she was the she was here. Yeah. Well, she probably remembers me then. You got um, you got a lot of praise for your professionality. And, Definitely. And uh, I'm sure you remember me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah we, but, we we gave you kudos. Mm. You you handled the phone calls she, very well. She handled Foshin very well. <laughs> Definitely took the time to to talk. Uh-huh. And believe me, <laughs> he's not an easy person to refute. No, he's no, 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 stellar. <laughs> he's a cunning linguist. editing on this video <laughs> well yeah just delete and fucking yeah non-tend mm-hmm. like like uh, flex says yeah got, a, got some non-tend to show you <laughs> Yeah. The full frame of that. And I got I got one too. I like that picture. Um, Except they don't understand that I don't know, I'm not gonna Who's the good guys and who's the bad guys and which one of these would be would be the cops and which ones would be the the people? The, well <laughs> It's kind of kind of ironic, you know? That, that it could be either or really when you think about it. Nobody likes the fucking red coats. I mean, when you stand up against tyranny, who are you standing up against? Well, when t- when tyranny <laughs> is fighting tyranny, that's. <laughs> when a tyrannical government. <laughs> 
doesn't appreciate the other tyrannical government trying to take control of it. They just kill each other. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, unalive each other. Unalive each other. I didn't say that. No, that'll be edited out. Yeah, we'll have to beep that out. I think it's comfortable. <laughs> what is this? Outgoing mail, that's outgoing. I guess the mailman just comes in and grabs his shit. I would Postcard or a uh, like a holiday card. Does Captain Dakara still work here? He does. How'd that happen? I have no idea. So he's the captain of this precinct still. Interesting. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to. I'm here on a work day, bro. Will he be in tomorrow? Ten, fifteen minutes. Uh, you said what time it was. What time was it? Did I? Was it nine forty-five? What time is it? Nine thirty-seven. It was like nine forty. It was nine forty. It is nine fifty-nine. No parts of us. <laughs> she definitely didn't want to. We're going to learn we're harmless, you know? And you know what it is, is they're afraid of this. They're afraid of this. Yeah. They're afraid of saying something that they're going to be caught with their pants down. Saying something they shouldn't say, doing something they shouldn't do. Uh, Why I don't would, you put in a records request? I would like to schedule an appointment to talk to the man in person. You should be able to do that. Right. Right. 
But who do you schedule it with? I don't know. That's why I want to talk to the, the, the duty sergeant. Hmm. So then the question would be, what's a reasonable amount of time to wait? Until shift change, and then they're going to give them the information, right, and then we're going to. Yeah, we're, we'll go smoke a cigarette. They're pro she said they're probably in roll call right now, so they're probably you know saying, "Hey, uh, angry bat from Baltimore <laughs> County Observer are out watching us tonight. Be careful." <laughs> All right, thank you. We'll be back. We're going to go smoke a cigarette, chill out for a little bit, and then we'll come back. All right. Thanks. <sighs> Roll call. So, I mean, she got she got on the desk at nine thirty, right? She got on the desk at nine thirty. So clearly, I mean, I guess she doesn't need to be in roll call. No, nah, she's just got desk duty. She she don't need to know nothing. <laughs> so. That's an Essex car. 1146, sure is. I've seen that number before. 